I moved here in 1947. I had married Nick's grandfather yeah. in 46, right after the Second World War. We had a dairy until uh, 1990. And then it was when in uh, 1994, he, uh, well, he got killed. He rolled a tractor over on himself when he was spread in line. It's kind of a shock. I knew he wanted to live, to live here, and he wanted to raise his family here. And so we decided to buy it, and then, you know, was paying for it from working, doing engineering work for uh, General Mills. And then, uh, you know, when it was displaced, we decided, you know, what are we going to do? Move, or are we going to make a stand here and be a success? And that's when we got into dairy farming again. Nick gets up um, a little bit before five, comes out and gets things ready to milk. I get the boys up for school. The cheese making days, I spend a lot of time back and forth between the milk house for the first, I don't know, probably four or five hours. Some of the best times, the closest times I spend with the kids isn't going and watching them play baseball or going to a movie or something like that. It's watching, we're milking together. I'd like to take over the whole business someday, make cheese. I really like living here. I can't imagine living anywhere else. I can't imagine trying to raise my kids anywhere else. I really am super lucky. Well, I, I feel better about our future than you see the, the bigger, the mega dairies, the corporate farms. The, the more educated that consumers become on what they eat and what they consume, the better we're going to do. It's time to take a stand. I think uh, it's a new day. This isn't a time of the past. This is a thing of the future. This is our time. I have walked down a dark and dusty road to this place.